um, so planes have foot stool for the therapist. You put your foot to it and you can lean like this. That is safe, but this one doesn't have. So, Bilal, it might actually be safer for you to do like this because there's nothing else to hold your foot for you. And some of these beds have a little banana. They call it bananas. There's one projection here. There's another projection here that's shaped like banana. So while you're pulling, the banana will stop the shoulder from coming with you. Do you understand? But here, there's no banana. So you can either ask it, an assistant, come, Bilal, hold this place. Sure. Stay here. No, face him, face me. Oh, right, so you hold that so that you stop that shoulder from moving. Another assistant can do the same thing on this side. Do you understand? So that the shoulder is not moving with me. So, do you get it? The other thing is now, hand here, hand here. Listen, this finger, if possible, take it away so that it's not resting on the track here. It's a gentle dome. <laughs> <laughs> Make it relax, relax your hand. It's your body that will do the pull. It's not this one. <coughs> no, it's the way you move back that will create the tension. So I got this one. And then Bilal also did well. This must be free from the edge. You know, some of these table have support. So when you are ready for manipulation, you, re you remove the edge support and you go, now look. And then you bend your knees. If you bend your knees and lean backward, that's traction, okay? And Bilal did very well. The point I want to add is, how do we know if we have applied enough traction or we are applying too much? Nobody talked about that among all of you. Oh, Professor, I did. Did you? Really you must score above 90 then. Right? When you do like that and you pull, just be talking to the patient. Please think about your symptoms. And then you can stop. The last time I pulled you, how do you feel? Because oh, when you pull, my pain is less. When you pull, I don't feel those numbness in my finger again. That means you're pulling with the correct amount of force. But if you pull this much, I say, just think about your symptoms, and then you wait. Say, how do you feel? Oh, my pain increases. Maybe you're pulling too much for the neck muscles to bear. Do you understand? So we can, even though it is manual, we can always gauge what is good. How do we know what is good? When you pull the right amount, the patient's symptoms will go down. Do you understand? So like, look at the mistake many students, especially those that did not come to class. Look at how they did straight pull for me in the video. You push like this, then you wash again, then you pull like this. What's that? That's why I said it is not smooth 